What's up, y'all? Now, I just want to tell y'all how awesome God is real quick. As y'all seen on Facebook, my dad came to visit for the last couple weeks. And then we got to spend some time together. It's been a couple years. But, uh, man, if y'all just would have known <laughs> the relationship him and I had growing up, it's just amazing to see what God has done, how he restored not only our relationship, but our lives. Dude, my dad wasn't there most of my life, you know, my childhood life. He was in and out. He lived in L.A., worked in Hollywood, so he was no stranger to drug addiction. He was an addict for the better part of 40 years of his life. I, I was an addict for, shoot, what, 20 plus years of my life. But we never had that bond that I always craved. But, man, God done showed, I'm going to tell you, man, we were so deep in our sin, so deep in our addiction, so deep in the world that we didn't know any better. And I don't blame my dad. You know, I don't blame him for, it might be a good thing he wasn't there a lot of my life because the life he was living wouldn't have been a good thing for me to pick up on. But still, I, I followed his ways, even though, you know. But um, when I went to prison back in 05, I had so much hate and so much anger and resentment towards my dad. I blamed a lot of my addiction, my addictive behaviors on him. Uh, but while I was in jail, man, and I was getting to know God, I, it was like God put on my heart about forgiveness. You know, if you have any, you got to forgive others as God forgave you. And I knew, man, I saw in myself that I had, I had a lot of hatred towards my dad. He wasn't there. I, I, I got this addictive behavior from, obviously, from him. But when I cried out to God and I released that, that anger and I forgave him, man, I wrote a letter to my dad and let him know how much I resented him. And um, it was at that time when God was dealing on me that God started working on him. And he was still in addiction, man, for the next almost decade. But from that day, writing that letter to him and being seriously giving that to God and freeing myself from that, from that chain, that bondage of unforgiveness, God started working on my dad. And today, my dad saved. He's been saved, shoot, seven years, going on seven years. And um, he's an awesome man of God, dude. I love I love and cherish every, every minute I have with him. And I don't even know, man. I'll just tell you, dude, that God can change your life, man. It's amazing to see how, man, we got 60-plus years together in addiction, living for the devil, while, I mean, we was raising hell most of our life. But God, one touch from God, man, can not only save my life and his life, but restore a relationship between a father and a son where you, we used to raise hell for the devil. Man, we prayed together. We laughed together. We talked about the good times. We talked about the bad times, man, and we just see God's hand all in it. I was a little bummed out when he left to go back to Louisiana um, this morning, but you know that's any that's any kid, man. You you know you got a bond with your father. You ain't gonna wanna say goodbye. But I see God doing um, amazing things in his life, and I see what he's doing in my life. And by far, man, I'm so far from where I wanna be, man. I slip up and fall on a daily. I'm not where I want to be, but man, if you only knew where I was and knew where he was, you can't tell me there's not a God. And we got the, I feel like I, like God's the, 
he's the perfect father, you know. He's my father's father. He's my father. And he's given us an example. And he's blown my mind with how he's changed our lives, man. So I guess my point is, don't stop praying. If you got any unforgiveness towards somebody, man, let it go. Because you ain't hurting them. You hurting yourself more than anybody. Actually, you're the only one you hurting. Give that to God and watch what he can do. Because never what I thought when I went to prison back in 05 for three years that God was going to be orchestrating the path that my, my dad's taking, you know. And as y'all know, man, I slipped up. I was on fire for God for a few years. Got back into the world. Fell hard. But when I was in prison praying for my dad's salvation, when I backslid, my dad was praying for me to come back to God back in my drug addiction. It's crazy to see how it works, man. But God is awesome. His word is true. His love never fails. And today, I'm, I'm just so over, overfilled with joy of how he's changing just the course of my life through my father. And, um... I look forward to seeing him again, man. I thank God for the time we had together. I just wanted to share that. Don't ever stop praying. Don't ever give up. Because if you would have seen him and I back in our back in our wild days, you man, you never would have thought that this father and son would be praying together and lifting the Lord's name up and wanting to reach out to those who were in our who are still in the place we were, in the dark place. And I feel like God's put a calling on our lives, man, to go to to share where we were, even our relationship, the dark, ugly truth about our relationship and show them how God can restore any relationship, especially our relationship to the Father. Hope you all have a blessed day.